What's up, everybody? I'm Alex at generalgeibel.com. Welcome to the 29th episode of the Heart Dance Producer Network podcast. This episode is the last episode of 2020, and I thought it would be cool to bring in the guest who was also the very first guest. And this is Vitali, the raw pop and raw kick machine, the guy who made a million presets and is gonna do a million more. Before we get into the interview, I wanted to take the opportunity to use this intro of the last episode of 2020 to say thanks to everybody who was listening, who was supporting, who was sharing the podcast. A big thanks to all the guests we had here, to all the DJs who took their time to talk to me and talk to you guys. And a big thanks to Lab E, who was helping with the production and editing of that podcast. And last but not least, also thank me, because I'm the fucking sponsor of this podcast because I'm paying for that. Bitch. Anyway, guys, as I said in the very first episode, I planned to do it throughout the whole year 2020. It was a little bit complicated to get it off the ground, but finally we are there. It's the 29th episode in the row, so we haven't skipped a single week and we are not planning to skip a week in the future. Let's get right into the interview. Welcome, Vitali. You're listening to the Hard Dance Producer Network, the number one producer podcast for the harder styles. Hosted by General Geibel. So, okay. last episode of this year. Start yeah, yep. Ending, ending the year with the gentleman who been on the very first episode, <laughs> Vitaly. Yeah, we stay alive. <laughs> yes, yes. So what's new? What's new? How did you how did you survive Black Friday? Did you get uh, some new shit? As you can see, I'm alive. That's, <laughs> that's already very thing. good. Yes, yes. <laughs> Black Friday, <laughs> many free plugins and uh, so new packs, uh, but uh, really slowly working some new stuff. Yeah. So didn't didn't Does go real over. job yeah. and uh, pro yeah. production so everything takes yeah. time you got a new pack out right this hybrid grinder uh, yeah second part uh, version yeah. two yeah uh, it's industrial cinematic some kind for if you want some not standard uh, industrial techno yeah maybe some break uh, yeah. broken beats so this one can fit really good uh, and you can personal it for your uh, own needs. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I checked out the demo. It sounds like um, like a video game soundtrack yeah, thing, is, right? Uh, this is the idea. Yeah, I yeah. really want. Uh, I got some new stuff, music, completely different. Mm. This is uh, so. I think uh, next year you will hear it's a little bit different from the original. Uh, hardcore techno it's mm -hmm. not dg music it's yeah. more cinematic industrial but uh, yeah it's a little different so i think it little bit changed direction in style anything anything special about the production of this pack i mean there's a lot of distortion going on um like uh Oh, I worked it months on this one. I used so many things from my MC seven hundred seven to VST plugins. Uh, you know, yeah. it's combination of hardware, software, yeah, uh, different stuff. Uh, I really like uh, uh, create loops on my MC. Yes, where some cool you can do some cool gl glitches. Uh, what uh, grooves uh, mm -hmm. and just workflow more faster yeah. sometimes on yeah of course on the computer you can do it with mouse but uh, sometimes on fly you get yeah. the beat it's really faster sometimes for me personally and, again and how, how does it work do you create a couple of one shots put them on a sd card back in the 707 create a uh, loop and record it back or today we got usb cable <laughs> oh okay 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 <laughs> So yeah, we have, I can uh, transfer so, uh, my sound on uh, on the on the MC. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm dumb. You're right. I take the <laughs> the card and, and you're right. You're right. Yeah, but so. I can uh, 
what I can, ah, I use it as uh, to record my audio. So I record it via USB. Not uh, transfer the sound. Oh, you you you, you <laughs> don't you don't go direct. Uh, you don't have to go analog in the interface. Just as in the USB. I can uh, connect it analog yeah. with cables or USB. Just USB. It's more easy, you know. And does it sound right? Because I remember, like with virus TI Snow, I think we had the discussion. In virus TI, you really <laughs> do difference. Big yeah. Different. But uh, tell the truth, I'm not so tried yet. Yeah, because uh, my stuff, uh, my setup is a little bit different right now. Yes. So I still wanna connect everything that I got here to my yeah. page panel uh, audio card of uh, Banger. Yeah, <laughs> I got one. How how is your relationship towards Massive X? Do you use it, or was it just for uh, sound set really and for set it, forget not it? Not easy. It's not simple synth. Yeah, it's not. It's not uh, even. It's great uh, fun in functionality. Really, yeah. you got so many things, but it's not uh, like a simple analog synthesizer where right. you see and that's what you get. Yeah. No, many tools, in many windows, many. It's a little bit uh, different, difficult somehow. If you wanna do it on fly, no, you yeah. need. To, of course, you can, but uh, to make some specific sound, you need to take a time and work on it. <laughs> it's uh, it's not easy thing to I can yeah. say, and can say still. Even yeah. to, I already started to understand it, of course, yeah. but. Uh, it's to me personally, it's a little bit more difficult to get some result uh, if I was use uh, original massive. It's yes. more in, uh, simple but still cool. Yeah. What many uh -huh. functions? I think it's still great scene. I got original box <laughs> of yeah. it. Uh, it's really the ones that uh, can be. No timeless, just timeless scene that you can use for everything. Yes. Yeah, I've been also every once in a while I'm opening Mass FX and I try to do something and it just it's doesn't feel it, uh, yep, yep. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't doesn't feel right. I mean uh walking through the presets which are in there definitely sounds good and it's definitely good synth, but after a while, you go more for convenience, you know, because it's not like that special that you don't get anything or you get something you don't get anywhere else. But if it takes you like two times, three times takes more to time, make it. It takes time to learn. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's then not there's for no everyone. point. Yeah. This one, maybe for sound designs that, uh, you know, already got some background. Yeah. It's really great one for some creativity. It can give you some amazing sounds, amazing uh, uh, tool, but uh, it's not a sim simple one. But is there anything about that one which is um, kind of unique, which, you know, uh, something some... you get in that in that sense that you don't get anywhere else or like some functionality? Did you find it's something? It's to say it's different from other but uh, I can't say you can. I can't get uh, same result. I just not tried no. do same result. But yeah, yeah, I course. got some interesting result, especially kicks, some glitches. No. Yep, I got some interesting. But still, you can um, try another synth. For example, uh, today we got some wavetable synthesizer. Yeah. We will talk uh, for sure about uh, <laughs> uh, Vital, right? This yeah. one is free. I think uh, yeah. I, I download it, but I still not use it so much. But it look really cool. Uh -huh. uh, here's uh, Serum Killer. <laughs> yeah, know, but, that's, uh, that's something. This, this something they say. Be, yes, it's got wave tables. Yeah, effects. Uh, I need to try it more. I just download it. Still not uh, use it so much, yeah. but uh, looks really cool. Design uh, looks really cool. Yeah, but you know, like um, when, for instance, Serum came out, uh, it was definitely, there was a lot of stuff which wasn't 
there before, at least to my knowledge, you know, with the envelopes, like the LFOs, which you can draw in a way and use them as envelopes, there's effects, which you can uh, change and the order and everything. I mean, every there have been many synths which had either one of those features, but not really a synth which has them all in there, right? And um, is there something in Massive X where you would say like, okay, that's something... Um, you don't find anywhere, so you can't do something with Massive but, uh, X, you can't do anywhere else. Hmm, difficult to say. Uh, it's a little bit different from the other synth, I can say it's yeah. for sure. The, the functions uh, that you got, some waves like the, the gorilla, or so, it gives you some strange sounds, uh, mm -hmm. strange uh, frequencies. Yeah. That's, that's cool that you can make some modern uh, new era music. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I can't say what's exactly different. Not think, just not thinking yeah. about it yeah. really. Yeah. Uh, what else have you been working on since uh, the last time we spoke? Or let me ask you something else. Is uh, during the pandemic, is there some ghost production still going on or is that uh, completely dead? At the moment, uh, I'm not got so much. And to tell the truth, I'm not want to take so much. <laughs> I want to yeah. just relax a little bit from yeah. this all. I'm just happy to make uh, what I do. Uh, yeah. Just find the project, maybe saw my post on Facebook. I I find the project from three or four years ago, yeah. the st steams. So I just mix it up, uh, you know, some experimental track. Yeah. If this one be released somewhere, cool. If not, I'm not no. care. I just will uh, release by myself. Uh, you, I think you even hear it before. It's some acid sound. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. remember it was like even... from from the mix bus. Um, the, the, yep, you, yep, yep. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen that. Yeah. It's uh, this is last thing. I got some another track uh, that I did with Marina. Uh, it's uh, it's free bootleg, so mm -hmm. I just listened old mix and think this is completely shit. Yeah. Time to mix <laughs> it up. So I wanna take some old stuff, old tracks. Yeah. Do some new mix down because some yeah. some tracks really good, but not sounds like they must do sounds. Yes. So I think time to rework some stuff. Uh, uh, not so much hard dance production at the moment. Mm. I, as I said, I did some different uh, sounding of uh, industrial, but not industrial techno. Yes. Not EBM, experimental, more like oh. is a hybrid grinder but not uh, more broken beats. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, you will hear in next year, I think, uh, nice. it will be released. Uh, just to support the project of uh, Sample Pack, as I do and plan to many packs in this, um, this sound. Just uh, what I like at the moment. Yeah. Sometimes when I see everything going to trend, same same stuff, I try just to disconnect myself. I do different mm. things because uh, what uh, what new I can do there personally. Yes. yes. Uh, okay. Raw kicks. I can understand. Of course, you can. I think the plugin, the raw kick plugin, still. I just know little amount of uh, things about it. It's yeah. still a lot, a lot, even after so many packs, packs. I understand that I still got a lot to learn, mm -hmm. really a lot. The metrics can give you some really cool functionality that's uh, not so much used or used. I try to use it more and more to find. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can get completely. 100% sound, but you can get, as you said, what James in really close, really close, yes, sometimes yes. really, really close. Maybe re cue it, rebalance it, yeah. and I think you can get if, uh, if look on some modern sounds. Sometimes you even got kicks without punch, 
like yeah. up tempo can yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can really make it inside inside the plugin just recute to rebalance it even without without layering of yeah. course with layering you can get more result it's matter what sound you're looking for of course yeah no but I, I I definitely feel there are also a lot of tracks out there which um just use a full on preset from raw kick um yeah I mean it's it's good enough but I guess you know you can always if you go out and do some more additional processing because what I feel like um this final output limiter you know if you push the master there's still a yep. limiter on the plugin yep yep that's not really good. <laughs> I think like if you, if you overdo there, I always feel like uh, those kicks getting like a little bit, how should I say? Not too dimensional. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Sometimes uh, that's what I do. I take down the master yeah. uh, master volume so yeah. it, can gi it can give you some body that you right. lose it after over distortion. <clears throat> yep. This is... Uh, I can hear the new production. Uh, some artists, as you said, use it raw kick as is it yeah. as they are, because uh, the sound compressed. But uh, people like it, uh, so no. it's okay. But yep, if you can, if you take down the volume a bit, you can get some more body and process it with EQ, compression, or layering if you want. But you got body that give you no. the, this punch no. uh, so yep yeah there's always um there's also like a big difference i hear it more and more often um there is the actual sound and the character of the kick and then there's the quality and that's kind of not always going together you know there are like some even some sample packs that i heard uh like the kicks they sound they they got the right sound right but they missing Bass, they're missing like the punch they're missing everything it's just the character of the kick sounds really <laughs> good but it's not like a high quality kick you know it's not like a big kick and everything it's just like it's hard to describe you know it's like a you guitar, still need to work on it yeah a guitar which sounds sounds amazing but it's not big it's not crazy it's not good quality it just has a good tone yeah the tone that's the right word you know what i mean like sometimes yeah, you have yeah. those those packs where i hear like and i'm like Damn, that that's like a really damn good distortion, but kick sounds like shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, did you mate? Um, I mean, I see lately you make um, you post a lot of videos about the raw kick. You made like a French core kick and um, I like tried millennium still, type I of. I still kick. work on perfection. <laughs> yeah. Did Just you? Did you? Just working slowly on some new sound set. Uh, yeah. Uh, I try, I see more interest to old school stuff that I personally really like uh, yeah. Millennium, Millennium Hardcore, uh, Irle Reif mm -hmm. from uh, uh, 97. Uh, so I try to do some old school. I try to recreate some <laughs> promo kick. It's funny yeah. comment he write. It's better you send me this one. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said that? Yep, yep, yeah, you can see. On the, it's really funny. I yeah. really, it's not uh, really expected. <laughs> I yeah, really, <laughs> really cool. So you're working. He, he on, got on... really, really. Uh, I really liked his old tracks. What this? Yeah. He got some specific sound that you know. Yeah. It's it's promo. Yes. It's uh, for sure. It's some nine nine or yeah. some. Uh, Sample based or hardware based uh, yes. recorded, but uh, I tried recreate. Of course, it's not possible to do in one plug exactly because no. uh, it's different, uh, <laughs> different stuff. Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean uh, exactly the same copy. It's close to it's, impossible. There are so many variables. But character, as you said. I think it's pretty close to the style. I not try yeah. great sounds. I try do in style because completely in one plugin it's just not possible. No, not, of course uh, not. Yeah. It must be realistic. <laughs> yeah. But still, I think the uh, plugin really pow powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, you still can make some cool stuff or learn. 
Mm. I think you can do really cool sounds and even not kicks. I did before scratches. Uh, mm -hmm. You can do it same wave. It's same. You uh. Just take down the punch. You got bass wave. You can. Uh, you got a big amount of distortions, effects, yeah. uh, EQs. So it's same idea. Uh, like uh, another synth, you got. Uh, you can play it uh, yeah. while. Have you play? Have you played around with loading up samples? Uh, in in raw kick. Uh, like loading up samples I've been playing around with snares so like just load up a snare in raw kick and then uh, using the distortion and then like the layers with some you know synthesized layers and stuff and you can get like really those really cool you know this kind of industrial type distorted snares out of it I I, may, I wanted to make a tutorial since a long time ago but don't have the time but uh, it's pretty fun to you know really load up samples in that thing and play around with that I still try and make the challenge for myself not to use samples. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. stri still try not to... I, f I know it's possible. I, I even know that I will get better results, but still I want to find... Yeah. Uh, no, but I mean not uh, for kicks. Just, just, just for sound design. Um, just, you know, no, 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 not necessary for kicks. Yeah, uh, of course you can. Yeah. Of course you can. But uh, not try it. Of course, possible. I of course think it about it. But uh, as I said, it used a little bit different setup mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. my. I like uh, internal uh, effects on hardware yes. on MC. That really sounds cool to me. Yeah. It's uh, sometimes you know what it's a, uh, you need to. Transfer sounds, mm -hmm. record backs, take a little bit time, you know. But yeah. sometimes you got really cool uh, results, have interesting you... uh, results on some fly, you know. Have when you... you record one take mm -hmm. uh, and do some glitches, you can get some unexpected. Uh... But of course, in, in uh, raw kick. You can do not just kicks, of course. You, for sound designing, I'm sure you can load uh, not just drums. You can load uh, sounds uh, and yeah. and use in internal uh, stock uh, uh, effects, EQs, and distortion to create really cool, uh, cool sounds. I think it's really possible because uh, same idea. Yes, yes. Have you it's tried to make some snares? What the tool for? It's matter mm -hmm. how you use it for your uh, um, for your result. Yeah. Have you tried to make some snares in raw kick? No, no, not yet. Yeah. I, I I think I tried uh, do some cinematic snare. Okay. Uh, I think I got some, it's, but it's uh, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Today, if I do. Something rocky, I mostly make some kicks or try do similar kicks like someone. This mm -hmm. is, that's why I sometimes ask people if you give me some links yes. so I can listen. Again, it's sometimes really not easy because I don't know what what this guy used. Yes. And I want to tr manipulate the waves and, yeah. you know, play with the, some LFOs to get that... Uh, Groove feelings of uh, punch and bass. Uh, sometimes I not got the result. Sometimes I got pretty in style. How they call it? Uh, not copy, but in style of this uh, sound. Of course, what uh, extra um, processing you can get really cool result. But still, it, it's more easy to me because I like wave waveforms. Yes. Uh, How often uh, do you start making kick and raw kick and realize you go nowhere with that and delete it? Like, does it does it happen to you at all after so many making so many of kicks? Of course, of yeah, course. Still, uh, still sometimes happen because you know the mood is not uh, right yeah, yeah. So, or the sound floor uh, sound sound. Uh, Uh, not exactly like I imagined yeah. started so sometimes so I yeah. just uh, after a few hours I just uh, yeah. it's not piece of shit so I yeah. keep it 
Uh, when you work on a bank, like, you know, for the raw cake, like, you know, you've done hundreds. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Just not. laughs> what, what, what would you say would be like the average amount of time you need to make a cake, which is the, then like finished that it goes into for the For the it. Yes. Uh, uh, sometimes I will, I can say some cakes I will two, three hours. Mm -hmm. It's not sometimes a few a few changes, few cues. Yeah. No, if, especially if I want to try uh, emulate something mm -hmm. like someone else or do some. It's take time, really yes, yes. hours. <laughs> yeah. I not work for days. So a lot yeah. not. Uh, I still no, not, of course not too much freak. <laughs> yeah. But hours it stay hours yeah. sometimes. Sometimes you can get some uh, cool result on scratch. Yeah. Sometimes it takes uh, times yeah. really a lot of time to get uh, clo close result to try especially if you want to find same frequencies mm -hmm. uh, in the workflow. You know yeah. what's mean. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you try playing with the waves of uh, you know you got the waves of uh, the, the partials you mean the yep, yep, yeah, yep. yeah 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 and uh, EQ to find this uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's take time yeah it's like um sometimes I got that I, I hate it so much you know after a while you know what to do you know if the kick sounds a little bit stiff over compressed you maybe take out a little bit of low end and then you get the high end is coming up and sometimes yeah. you know exactly what you want to do you know how it should happen and you do it and it doesn't happen it doesn't sound like that <laughs> and then you stick for hours and you know you're so close it's just missing this little yeah. bit of detail exactly. and you know how to get it and you do it and you don't get it <laughs> i hate it <laughs> yeah this is exactly what's happening yeah sometimes for example try to recreate it's simple kick yeah. uh, the cat scan kick yeah. from uh w3 uh track his all the most yes. known track it's simple kick but <laughs> you still not got same yeah. one in the plugin even yeah. it's it's not it's not too distorted it's yeah. it's an easy one it's a 99 style kick or distortion but it's not exactly this yeah. one you need to find play what a lot of cues the not just EQ on this uh, on the Layering, you got master uh -huh. cues that do the main job. Yes, the yes. main uh, sound, how to main distortion. The yeah. so it's a lot of the, of EQ playings to get, uh, but still, I'm not. I did something really close, but uh, but still not exactly same. Mm. It's uh, difficult. It's, I think it's not possible to do exactly exactly the same because everyone use different tools different source because analog uh, base analog feel yeah. still different even if even after distortions yeah. you got different it's more compressed more like no. a table tum, tum. no but of course it's it's not possible to really yeah. create but the same thing because there are so many variables you know if you work with all the distortion if you got like an analog kick as a source there's already like a little bit of noise a little bit of hiss yeah uh, some a distortion weird harmonic. It does not give you yeah it's already like a completely harmonics thing. and yes. uh, stuff yeah. yeah i mean we all know how it is you know you put like your big chain and you change a little bit of the kick. You maybe change even like the amp envelope so it goes down faster and it's already a whole different yes. character, you know. And if you change a little bit of the waveform, it's completely different, yes. Uh, what, did, since you mentioned like the uh, master EQs on the raw kick, when do you typically bring them in? Like you go constantly back and forth or you got like this thing, okay, I make my layer one, then I add something. And at the end, when I got the kick almost done, I add the master EQ or what's the it's, typical... I think it's not on the halfway, but when I tr got some uh, some sound, some uh, already direction, I start to play with the master EQ because it's this give not just fun the sounding, 
It also yeah. give you harder. Uh, without it, you can the layers can sound really completely different. Yes, the yes. master queue give you really cool. Also, the imager splitter is mm-hmm. give you the workflow uh, or workflow, uh, the flow. Yes, really cool. It's different key. I I mostly use the key. Uh, yeah. So I know, uh, you know in which key I play the kick mostly, or sometimes yes. I just do it as uh, uh, one shot without key changes. Yes. So I know on this key it will work perfectly for this yeah. one, the flow. Yes. But uh, it's really give every stuff, every part of it, give something, not just mm. uh, final master cue, for final touches. No, final no. touch, you will do with external EQ. Yeah. But this one, of course, it's give you, I try to find some balance m- much as I can, but mm. uh, still it give character. Sometimes you do extrema, extrema uh, changes, but you got uh, some uh, different uh, no, slider. Yeah between two EQs, so you play, you know, you play, you want to add a little bit. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he is on my on my legs, wanted to come up. Yeah. For people who listen it, uh, my dog just joined the conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, because yeah. he was scratching my legs all the time, so that means like, yeah. dude, pick me up. <laughs> You want attention? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's an. Want to be a superstar? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't know if you know. He got even an Instagram profile. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, important. Got... Ah, yes, really? yes, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I need to check it out. <laughs> yeah, he's on Instagram. Big star. <laughs> really, I'm not be surprised. I'm not yeah. be surprised. He he got more likes than you. Oh, uh, me of course. <laughs> no, not um, not that big of a star, but I wouldn't be surprised actually if you know I you would be posting uh, shit you like know, uh, you know definitely animals, kids get, get much likes and interest chicks. from and, uh, and, and, and chicks, women and chicks. Yeah, 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 of yeah. I just just recently, I mean, now we're switching topic, but I wanted to tell the story. So there's uh, all of a sudden, like for a while, there's always like one chick appearing in my uh, feed. I'm not following her. Uh, she's also making like hardcore sort of. And a lot of people sharing her pictures. It's an attractive chick, look pretty good looking and uh, checked out her profile. Um, something like 5,000 followers. So also recently just started. So I also checked out the music. Music wasn't like really good. But then you see the big difference. On Spotify, she has like 100 monthly listeners. And, you know, the tracks barely scratch the 1,000 mark. Uh, but, um, you know, I definitely know a couple of DJs like who really uh, playing already like big events internationally. Got it, having like 4,000 or 3,000 followers, especially like in that genre, like where it's faster and harder. Uh, don't want to say the genre because I don't want to expose her. But it's sometimes it's weird, right? So she get like so much hype, so much, um, so much attention, and nobody gives a shit about the music. It's like I would feel pretty terrible. It's like I'm a musician, and like nobody gives a shit about my music. I got 120 monthly listeners, but like. On Instagram, I'm blowing up. I mean, I find it kind of. I, know, I would be. I would be pretty sad about it, actually. <laughs> it's reality. Yeah. You know, today you even don't need create the music. Uh, just the view of yes. creating yes. something, making photos with uh, with headphones. Yeah. And you playing some other stuff. Uh, <laughs> No, but I, you know, I would, I would also, I wouldn't be surprised. Like once the party start again, if she is on every lineup, you know, even though nobody gives a shit about her music, <laughs> you know. But I wouldn't be surprised once the party start, uh, she will be on every lineup, you know, because yeah, social media, you know. So who who cares about the music? So kind of sad, yeah. but yeah, I can say, <laughs> say much more. Not not many cares today. It's really no. sad. Uh, without extra 
not extra promotion. Uh, if you released on big labels, same stuff that you posted uh, without this label. Yeah, it's just the the name. Yeah. Wow, wow yeah. effect. Uh, yeah, but, uh, it's not matter how professional you are, what you did, for for whom you worked. Yeah. Uh, what's your experience if you just use it splice or loop clouds yeah uh loops created tracks it got a lock or some contacts released on some known label yeah so this is how it's more of yeah, course it's... it's our job to make the loops but reality uh works a little bit <laughs> against us <Yeah>. from somehow <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 always uh, funny. You you're pretty right. You know, if you make a track right now, uh, you release it, you will get hundred plays. Yeah, and maybe like three thumbs up on YouTube and one thumbs down. If the same track would be released by somebody like who's established, it would be a whole different thing. Yeah, uh, it's it's a. Uh, happened like with a buddy of mine i think you know him yuri from from holland um doesn't matter mad he goes under mad the hardcore dj whatever so he is um with his music he kind of never really had a big break i mean he's also not releasing too much but he's uh doing ghost production for some bigger guy much bigger guy And like, while he is putting out tracks, people are like, yeah, woof, whatever, whatever. Like his same tracks getting like hundreds of thousands of plays. While like people like, oh, <laughs> yes, what? Yes. you know, he's, he's uh, commenting on something. People are like, oh, the fuck do you know? And stuff, you know, but you know, he's making the other tracks, which are going pretty, pretty good, you know? So people are like weird sometimes. It's, uh, it's... I got some example that I heard. Of course, without names, because it's not uh, right. But uh, for example, I heard some track uh, by really known artist. Uh, every, of course, everyone, wow, amazing. But if this one was from unknown, yeah. I'm sure this one not but was released even. Yes. Yeah. Not even released, because. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck it's not on the level it's not uh, on the style and yeah. 100% uh, percent true it's not uh, was present uh, this way like if you not got some big name yeah. known already yeah it's yeah, that's, uh, okay that's of course kind of you the truth. in the first yeah. work on your brand after that the brand work yeah. on you yeah uh, Some yeah. <laughs> last last year, I'm pretty sure you know the track too. Mad Dog released a Reset, which was like a 200 yeah, BPM old school. old school type of track. I'm 100% sure. The track is amazing. It's really good. Uh, but I'm 100% sure if like a nobody would have made that track and would have sent it like to Masters of Hardcore, to Dogfight, to... All of them before Mad Dog released it and made it like really. Uh, We now know everybody, the result. <laughs> now everybody makes makes that type of sound. It's kind of gotten gotten popular because the track got uh, some pretty good success. But I guess you know if like you know some dude here from my neighborhood would have made that exact same track, nobody would sign it. They would say, "No, that's not what's going on. What the fuck do you want with your old school shit?" You know. So it's it's also like you it know, need to be someone known to create this uh, yeah. new wave. Yes, yes, yes. Some kind of new wave. Yeah, new wave. It's kind of good old <laughs> yeah. wave. <laughs> yeah, it was um like with, in in the podcast with uh, James, you know, because uh, like all of a sudden like gated kicks are there, and like everybody's gated kicks. So he was making gated kicks like since 15 years. Nobody gave, gave yeah. a flying fuck about that, you know. But, all but if stuff, someone like, knows it is. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> yeah, and somebody, somebody and really he got success. In almost every track. Yes. This is his uh, uh, sound that he still rock, and I think it's cool because uh, he got his own view, yeah. personal. Yeah. So I think it's good. The trends not change him. Yes. It's uh, happened to many that... Okay, uh, today we got up tempo on the fly, 
So we need to do arm tempo. Uh-huh. You got uh, French core kicks uh, with hardcore kicks together, where pow, and yeah. uh, every two seconds some uh, pitch up uh, changes. Yeah. Uh, ping, 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 you know, so and, and, everyone and don't, start to do this. Don't, this don't is, forget uh, the random triplets. There's always like a random uh-huh. triplets in the kick pattern without any sense. Just like, yeah, let's let's bring like... Dum, dum, dum. I tried <laughs> one one time exactly what James, when I did the this triplet. After that, because, uh, you know, it's trend or psych ah, psy, psy trend kicks. Oh, yeah. I, Can't say, for example, Audio Freak do really great. I uh, got some his releases. I buy waves to analyze. He got really great sound design and uh, production. Really, yeah. so I can say, if, uh, if listening his sounds, he do really creative, not uh, simple. Yeah. But sometimes trends uh, do, you know, like samples from Splice. Uh, Ten, 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 yeah, track yeah. down. Ten, 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 track down. Yeah. Of course, it's great. And yeah, no producer that released uh, great music this way. And we do uh, samples for this. Yes. But uh, trends sometimes, you know, it's start when it uh, every track sound exactly like uh, this one that was before. It's kind of fa- fast food. Yes. Of course, if uh, people need it, uh, you know, there two two sides of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hard to say if uh, it's bad or good. Of course, mm-hmm. we look at it uh, from all, all sides uh, as uh, producers, as gas producers. Uh, uh, as you said, if someone known did it, It's uh, people take it if someone new or not so promoted uh, did, did same stuff. Yeah. No, n- not sure that be even uh, check it by label. Yeah, new 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 stuff is um, rarely getting accepted unless like you know there is somebody big behind it. That's that's uh, that's actually. It's not just, of course, it's not just in the hard dance production. It's. Mm-hmm. Every it's it's yeah. I remember um, back then when EDM was so big. They've been I, I've been following a couple of artists. They've been making like some kind of world music with big room, and nobody gave a shit about that. And then this track, the flute, came out. I don't know if you remember that. Been like two Australian guys. I think I don't know something. I'm, I'm not good at names, yeah. but uh, if this was, uh, it was it was a fucking like, big uh, hit. It was like beat part number one forever. And then all of a sudden that came became really popular. Then like you know Jason Derulo was doing like Talk Dirty with that Balkan beatbox uh, sample in there and everything. Then all of a sudden like for a short period of time there was a lot of um, like world music influence in uh, even in pop music you know for a short period of time but i've been following at that time already a couple of artists who've been doing that sound and nobody gave a shit about that <laughs> quite quite contrary there was like pretty pretty negative feedback on those tracks and you know? also that's that's what's up actually you know so you need just just like some trendsetter to pick up on it do that and I mean, then this is what uh, most uh, commercial projects because I can't say artists it's projects because yeah. uh, big teams work maybe in the beginning this one artist after some years I'm sure that there is already project brand mm-hmm. uh, you need to follow after trends if this if uh, today I can say the lo-fi style growing up mm-hmm. And uh, we recently do some really chill stuff, not just uh, trend, not trend, uh, just uh, like chill stuff and yeah. Marina like too. So we do different music from completely different genre, yeah. not for everyone, not for yes. hard dance uh, listeners. Yeah. So, but I can see some even hard dance producers uh, going to different genres to try grow the audience. So, or already artists with some names, for example, techno, 
yeah. got some uh, back uh, mm. some uh, loop in the scene so yeah. i can hear in uh, some edm sets yes. this kind of techno feels or mel- me- uh, melodic techno for example yeah. that some period of uh, of course it's still really popular but yeah. it's got, it's got some uh trends also in pop music or yes. house music yeah and in techno mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of uh, uh the, there's like a, a lot of uh, old school hardcore being played like um yes. you know uh Marco Caripane told me like there are some techno chicks you know playing like his old pitch hiker and uh, stereo murder and shit and techno sets like towards the end that seems to be um, very, very yeah, cool. yes yes exactly she she plays yeah. those track to those tracks and her sets and yeah so with all respect to Nina Kravitz I listen to stuff that out on her label I I even my freaking mind I can't understand this music, uh, and no, but no. she got the name. No, she of got course, the name. it's just uh, my personal view. Nothing against uh, it. No, of course, of course. I mean, for me, it's also like I, I, I just don't get that music. To be honest, it's it's not my cup of tea. I don't say it's like you know bad or anything. It's just not my cup of tea. To be honest, it's same. Uh, yeah, uh, just not got it sometimes. Yeah. So, you know, I got a couple of uh, friends who make that. And yeah, th- there are certain techno genres. You know, I, I don't know. There, there are so many subgenres, but there are some, I think, yep. some dark techno shit. That, that sounds more like old school hardcore, like hardcore in the 90s or something. Um, that's some stuff I can, I can really dig. But um, some of that stuff, I just don't get it. It's <laughs> really not I for me. I got some period that uh, I did uh, techno stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got this um, mood and this, uh, but still, uh, again, I I try not do exactly same like everyone do. Yeah. But I think where the rules you need to, if you wanna grow up in the genre, you need to go in the rules of the genre. Not yeah. uh, nobody wants your experiment, uh, your new f- view. If this again, yeah. if this. Someone known the this is a different story, but uh, if one that nobody knows from yeah. the scene, so may, yeah. no many chances uh, to get attention. Yeah, Again. I totally agree. There is there is a big difference between kind of take something that is there, like for instance, you make. You know, I don't know, you make hardcore, but you make like a little bit of different type of kicks, different sound design, maybe got something different, but it's still kind of hardcore. It's one thing. But if you say like, yeah. oh, I'm like fucking avant-garde thing, I make like instead of distorted kicks, I make distorted snares on four on a floor. Nobody wants to hear that shit. You know? <laughs> so like, don't be too experimental. <laughs> Have you ever tried uh, for yourself? Have you ever tried to produce like some, like EBM, like you know this kind of gothic industrial stuff? Because I think uh, like with, with what you do, track some released, point, that uh, would be something for you. Uh, on industrial stage, a few years ago, some kind EBM experimental. Yeah. Uh, I did many journals, tried. Of course, a lot yeah. of stuff not released, and that great. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, some old stuff that released uh, and I can listen today I think fuck uh, yeah. okay we all learn uh, in the time <laughs> yeah. new stuff but uh, yep I really want some I really like old school breakbeat like Prodigy Kanko yeah. Brothers uh, I really like do something like this uh, uh, I already tried, did some tracks, but still wanna take a time do some stuff in this general because yeah, yeah. old school stuff, old school. Yeah. It's not aggressive music. It's more positive feeling, but energetic, uh, yeah. groovy stuff. Uh, I love these broken beats, uh, not s- simple one. Yeah. Uh, there are many sounds that I know from my Roland module. 
uh, I really love this kind of old school sounds that, uh, again, j- maybe just uh, music that I growing up with it mm-hmm. and uh, just in my mind. So, but it's some, sometimes I really want to chill out really different or maybe uh, some pads, pads music without a lot of beat, uh, more ambient with a lot of reverb. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I try with Marina do some kind of chill out stuff lately, not hard dance production. Again, I'm stop it care really about uh, what who I'm not thinking about. Uh, whoa, I need uh, people listen it first. Mm-hmm. I need to get some positive feelings from uh, mm-hmm. creation. Yeah. Uh, I, if I, I this totally one agree. will. We'll find the listeners if this music it's great. But again, it's just uh, um, I know that not be superstar and hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> um, not be and yeah. not will go after trends. I just if I not like it, I can't do it. Mm. I personally really stopped listening hardcore music today. What I don't know even what to release today. I sometimes check uh, uh, to check kicks, but listen, I even uh, headphones on the work. Sometimes I, mm. you know, played some uh, hardcore stuff, uh, but mostly I listen completely different music from 16th uh, jazz, uh, yeah. swing, uh, or some old school orchestra uh, uh, completely different music or I love music from 90s uh, some uh, you know music where the melodies uh, again of course today uh, hard dance producers in kicks 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 it's great yeah. of course uh, yeah. I know it's trend of today but uh, me personally I like melodies uh, I like some story songwriting some music that you know we still were some music that not got some um, super amazing modern uh, sound designing, but mm. you still know the melodies. You can sing it in your head. You know the melody. You know the lyrics. Today, in the modern in commercial music, you got a lot of junk food that you okay here. It's playing uh, on the radio on the mm. from everywhere. Of, of course, it's catch your ear. But you can remember it after some weeks already. Yeah. But there are some songs. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, uh, electronic music, even some pop songs. You know the lyrics. All right, boys and girls, this is it for this episode. Next week, we are back with the second part of the interview with Vitaly. So make sure you check it out. I'm shifting the schedule now to Tuesdays instead of Mondays. It's simply because I try to take Mondays off and the podcast doesn't really help to have a day off. (laughs) So I'm shifting to Tuesdays. So you might be surprised that this episode wasn't out on a Monday. It's on a Tuesday. And next Tuesday, we are back with the second part. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you share it with your friends. Make sure you support that podcast in any way you can. Not asking for money, just for a little like, a little share, a little review, whatever you can do. Thank you in advance. And I see you next week. Bye bye.